We've all heard of fake it till you make it, but do you know what's actually involved in that and why it's not fully correct? Coming up in this video. What's up, Legend? It's Sherman here from Geek Psychology, where I help geeks, gamers, and creatives to have more motivation and confidence. And in this video, we are talking about the three keys to gaining self-confidence. Self-confidence is like, it's a tricky thing. You know, it's, it's, for me, it comes from within. It comes from knowing yourself. It comes from um, like having this understanding that I will be okay in whatever the situation is. I remember sometimes uh, when I did not feel like that, when I wasn't sure of who I was, when I wasn't sure that I could handle the situation, that I had the skills, the abilities, the, the clarity of thought to do it. And I remember other times where I felt that and I actually did courage. I took steps to, to creating a better life, to doing things that were outside of my comfort zone. And so in this video, I'm going to talk about three things that I feel are really important in order to gain self-confidence, uh, mindsets, if you were. All right. So first up, um, it's a it's a call to adventure. Like within every um, every story, even your own life, um, it's important to do things that are outside of your comfort zone. Right. The the hero never succeeds by just just being right and just enjoying the the inn and and hanging around water farming and all this other stuff right that's you got to do stuff right you got to heed that call to adventure and it's hard it is and it happens all throughout our life even every day like there are things that like even some you know sometimes just waking up is is heeding the call to adventure right like i, I don't want to do it I got to do it. I got to get out of my familiar zone. I got to get out of my warm, comfy sheets and take the actions to, you know, propel myself along throughout the day. And um, so within your life as well, this is an important thing. Like what is, what is the call to adventure? What is that little whisper that you've had uh, for so long that you've probably just ignored or you just keep pushing it away, you know? And drown it out and play some games or something like that, right? Like, yeah, I really know that I should just read these hundreds, thousands of books <laughs> that I have just lying around or ebooks or whatever it is. Um, but I could just play another game, right? That distracting voice, that is, that is you fighting with yourself, fighting against the call to adventure, the call of the universe, if you want to think about it like that. Um, and through through heeding that call, <clears throat> pardon, through heeding that call, you start to learn that you know this is this is important for me to do, for me to stretch myself out of my comfort zone, so I can learn um, that I they have self efficacy, that I can cope, that I can take actions that will impact my life and change my life. And next up, know that it's a process. Um, it's not just like one day you wake up and boom, your life is perfect. You're making millions of dollars. You have the, the love of your life, the house, the family, the, the job, fulfillment, whatever, you know, like it's, it doesn't just instantly switch like that. If you ever played a game where you were just, you log in, okay, level 99, great. That's not fun. There's no story to that. There's no adventure. It's just boring. Um, and so knowing that and appreciating that is one of the keys to gaining self-confidence. Know that whatever you do, you're going to be taking actions. You're going to be doing things. You're going to be moving yourself along in the process. And through that, you're going to gain some more skills, right? Skills emerge from the, the triumphs and the, the struggles, the trials. Um, like that's how you actually learn like, well, actually I'm missing a little piece of my skill set over here. I didn't put a point in that. I didn't buy that item that I should have bought. I didn't listen, um, and, and take in the lessons from a mentor or something like that. And you, you get beat down and that's fine. You know, that's how you grow. 
it's like going to the gym. I don't, I don't go to the gym, but it's, it's like going to the gym uh, where you, you can't, you know, sorry, phone. you can't just show up and be completely ripped. It doesn't work like that, right? <laughs> you show up, you start with the, the little weights, you tear your muscles, right? you take some damage, you get exhausted. Leg day, leg day, leg day. <laughs> you, know, you, you hype yourself up, you know, pump yourself up, and you keep going. And through that, it's a process, a transformational change. And also know, number three, that it's all feedback. It's all feedback, baby. It's like, you know, whatever happens is just a response within the system. And I did not used to think like this. I did not used to have like systems thinking and, and process and that type of stuff because <laughs> I'm a feeler. Um, I don't I don't generally approach my day like that, but I've learned to take that into account with um, some very specific things like this, like human personal development, to know that the the piece that I put into the node into the system, Right? That node that I put into the system is going to shape and shift the whole process. And then new things emerge from that. And so if you do something and you fail, ooh, it doesn't work out how you wanted. Okay, so do something different next time, right? Or and take into account the variables. You know, if, if you were approaching somebody to talk to them, and uh, you got shot down and, you know, you walked away and you're like, oh, I don't like this. I'm never going to talk to anybody again. That's obviously not the right approach to it, right? You got to see it for what it is. Say, okay, this is a variable, the other person, uh, the day, the time, how you were dressed, how you appeared, right? <laughs> not just like appeared, but, you know, how your presence, uh, your appearance and um, your mindset, everything all kind of builds up into part of what emerges from that event. So don't take it as like, I failed and, and I'm not good. Take it as, okay, things didn't work out. I need to adjust. I need to make some changes. And within that, you can bring in like the Pareto principle and find like the, the 20% that's the most leverageable, um, that's going to impact the 80% of the rest of the, the system or, you know, however you want to word it. Um, and just keep making little shifts and those little shifts from that feedback loop back in and improve the process and then make you more likely to accept those calls to adventure and take steps outside of your comfort zone to do things that you really want to do. All right. So if you are an INFP, uh, I suggest you check out inalfeelpositive.com because there's a masterclass that I made that's based off 100 different survey um, responses that I got from other INFPs. And I you know, took my skill set, my knowledge, and funneled it into how do I help? <laughs> you know, How do I help INFPs understand themselves and uh, get out of their comfort zone and you know, erase some of the past traumas and set goals that are so easy an INFP could do? And also patrons, thank you very much for your support. And thank you for the, the new faces that are coming in. It's always extremely helpful. And it gives me more to mo more motivation and the ability to um, do things like this. Because I can spend the money that you're supporting me with on things like uh, better technology, better mic, multicasting, all this other cool stuff. All right. So... Uh, if uh, you're interested in more things about confidence, check them out uh, over here, probably in this side and comment down below, you know, what have you done uh, to get out of your comfort zone and to kind of embrace confidence? All right. Keep up the life on questing. Good luck. Have fun. Peace.